What's up everyone? We are here in the Jurassic Room and today as you can see on my review table I received two more packages in the mail and we've got some fun stuff inside of these packages. Inside of one we've got a brand new released Godzilla X Kong the new Empire toy that just came out so I'm super happy to get it in my collection and inside the other box we've got some cool Jurassic World toys so let's go ahead and crack open these boxes so we can see what What's inside? Okay, so inside of package number one, the first item we got is Battle Roar Shimo, which is super cool. I haven't seen this released inside of any of the stores yet, but I did snap this off of walmart.com, so I'm super excited by that. This one is looking really cool, as y'all can see. Shimo's looking awesome. I love the translucent spines as well. That is so cool. Shimo is one of my favorite new characters from the new movie, so I'm super excited to get another figure of them. Then looking at the back of the box, we get to see all of the Battle Roar figures now. We got Battle Roar Kong, Battle Roar Scar King, Battle Roar Godzilla Evolved, and now last but not least, Battle Roar Shimo, which is, I guess, assumed to be the second wave of the toys, which is really, really cool. And it's got a try me button. So let's check out what Shimo can do. Those are some pretty cool sounds. Let's try it again. Super awesome. I'm so excited to add this piece to my collection. So now let's check out what's inside of box number two. So now inside of box number two, we've got some Jurassic World stuff and it's actually, don't hate me guys, but we have some Hasbro Jurassic World. Now I know almost everyone in the fandom knows these as the worst to Jurassic toys that were ever made, but they are still a part of Jurassic history. So I do want to collect them. And as most of you know, one of my biggest collecting goals in my life is to have every toy from 1993, the original movie, all the way up to modern day Jurassic World Mattel, brand new in the package. So that means that I do have to track down these Hasbro ones and I was able to track down a few more here we've got the Ankylosaurus which honestly still looks pretty cool I must say um the packaging I've always liked of these I guess it was just the actual toys that were pretty scummy now what you can do is you can actually move this leg um if you pull the leg back it twists the tail and if you push it forward it pumps the Ankylosaurus's head now I'm not sure an Ankylosaurus would be uh attacking with a headbutt like that but it is still kind of an interesting little feature and it's still kind of a pretty cool little figure here now also in the box we've got another hasbro jurassic world figure and this one is the stegoceratops and again this one is not very high quality as well this is what a lot of us call hasbro garbage but this is an interesting one since it is a hybrid and i don't have any other stegoceratops toys in my collection i do have one of these loose but i didn't have any new in the box like this so it is kind of cool to see um it's got some interesting features as well i think you just like pull its tail and it pumps its head with this one makes a little bit more sense pumping its head since this stegoceratops has the horns like a triceratops so it's actually a decent attack method unlike the ankylosaurus that would only use its tail so not really understanding it on the ankylosaurus but not so bad on the stegoceratops and it does look pretty cool on the packaging as well now, I did get some really good deals on these, and that's why I went ahead and picked them up. I think I got the Stegoceratops for $5 plus shipping, and now this is crazy. I think I got the Ankylosaurus for $2 plus shipping. It may have been the other way around, but either way, both of these figures cost me under $10, which is a really, really cheap price, so it wasn't a bad time to start adding some of these Hasbro figures to my collection. 
So here is everything that I got on today's Jurassic Mail Call unboxing. I'm super excited to add a new Godzilla Kong, the new Empire figure to my collection. And I guess it's not such a bad time to start picking up some of the Hasbro Jurassic World figures. Want to see more awesome Jurassic content? Then hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any of my content. Also, check me out on Instagram and join my Discord server for so much more Jurassic fun. The links to everything will be in the description below. Check out more awesome Jurassic videos here.